Applications of differentiation. In this videos to come, we are going to focus on tangents and normals. You will find this on page 268 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Tangents and normals. Now that you know how to find the gradient of a curve at a given point, you will be able to find the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve at a given point. Let's just stop there. A tangent is just touching the curve there, do you see? And a normal is always making 90 degrees to that tangent, also going through that touching point. The tangent is a straight line which touches the curve at a given point A. The normal is the straight line which is perpendicular to the tangent at the given point A. The formula y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 is useful to finding the equation of any straight line if the gradient at one point on the line x1, y1, okay, are known just like we did when we were doing the equation of a straight line. Tangents. If the value of dy by dx or f dash x at the point this is m, then the equation of the tangent to the curve at a is given by this. Equation of the tangent. Note that this is the same formula that we use to find the equation of any straight line like we did in chapter 3. Okay. So let's look at an example. Find, uh, I think I want to make it a little bit bigger. And there we are. Find the equation of the tangent to the curve y equals this at the point where x, this is the function, and at, at the point x is equal to negative 1. So this is the function. First find the y coordinate of x is equal to negative 1 because we need the y coordinate. So substitute, just like we did in previous videos, in the original equation. And that is the y coordinate. Now, find the derivative function, so we're going to differentiate, and hinge the gradient at the point where x is negative 1. So we differentiate, so we get 10x minus 7. Then when x is negative 1, we substitute it and we get negative 17. Therefore, at negative 1, 11, the gradient of the tangent is negative 17. But now we're going to use the equation of a straight line formula. And we're just going to substitute that point in, 11, negative 1, and substitute the gradient in. And then we're just going to simplify this formula, rearrange it, and we have the equation of that tangent will be y equals negative 17x minus 6. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I'm just going to let you do one because we're going to repeat it in, in the videos to come. So I think, let's just stop the video and I think let's do the middle one. Do number two. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Now let's just see if I can read it. Yes. Try now 11. Okay, and it's number 2. So let's write down the function. Number 2. I'm going to roll it this together. y is equal to x squared with the equation. That's the formula. Okay. Now we are going to start from the find the equation of the tangent at the point where x is 0. So let's do it exactly the same as the example. First find the y coordinate. So we're going to say uh, when x is 0, the y
the y coordinate is, and we substitute in the original equation zero in the place of x. And what we are we going to get? We're going to get one. So therefore, the coordinate of the point will be zero and one. Okay, that will be the point where it touch the curve. Okay, now we're going to differentiate. Let's use another color. So dy, the derivative function, by dx, that's easy, plus 3. Okay, and now, so we, now we're going to stop to find the gradient, we substitute the x value. So we say, when x is 0, dy by dx is equal to 2, 0, plus 3, and that will just give a gradient of 3. So we already know that the gradient of this tangent is 3. Okay, so now we're going to go on, and I, I like to just change colors because we're going to different faces in the sun. So therefore, at, and that is the coordinate point, 0, 1, the gradient of the curve is 3. Okay, so the equation of the tangent and now we're just going to use this formula of a straight line so it's going to let's just write it down first y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 and, and let's just name the point this I'm just going to do it in red this is x1 and this is y1 and don't forget that this is the gradient m and basically I'm just going to substitute that let's just move it up a little bit <clears throat> so let's just substitute that in so we're going to get I'll just go back to blue so y minus and in the place of y1 it's 1 I like to put in brackets always and m in the place of m it's 3 and in the place of x1, x1 it's 0. Let's just put it still in brackets. Otherwise, if it was a negative, it would have become a positive. So now we simplify y minus 1 is equal, and this is 3 minus 0, so this will just be 3x. Okay, and therefore, okay, y equals 3x plus 1. Okay, and let me just, oh, it's that 3 is not clear enough for me. This 3, let's just write it later. And this will be the equation of the tangent. just want to write it here. That is the equation of the tangent. Okay, we will continue with this in next videos.